Hello and welcome back. Now we're going to be discussing high blood sugars or hyperglycemia. High blood sugars are frequently what brought our patients into the hospital when they were diagnosed with diabetes. Hyperglycemia is when the blood sugar rises and stays above 180 milligrams per deciliter. Symptoms of high blood sugar may include feeling more thirsty than usual, using the bathroom a lot, also known as frequent urination, feeling more hungry than usual, weight loss, feeling more tired or sleepy than normal, blurred vision, dry mouth, having a stomach ache and being less hungry than normal if ketones are present, and complaints of metallic taste in the mouth or a sweet, fruity smell of the breath. High blood sugars can come on slowly, getting a little higher each day, or can happen quickly. Causes of high blood sugar include missed insulin doses, not getting enough insulin for meals, stress, or illness. Now Dr. Kaladi is going to talk about how to prevent high blood sugars. The best way to avoid hypoglycemia or high blood sugars is by exercising regularly and maintaining your daily routine. Make sure you count your carbohydrates carefully and calculate your insulin to carbohydrate ratios as well as correction doses accurately. Be sure to take the right amount of insulin at the right time. Always rotate your injection sites. And finally, make sure to store your insulin inside of the refrigerator and discard as directed. Test your blood sugar regularly Keep a blood sugar record and let your healthcare team know when you start to see patterns of high or low blood sugars so that we can make insulin dose adjustments in a timely manner. To treat high blood sugars, please do the following. Do not skip meals to correct high blood sugars. Test your blood sugar at least four times a day, every two to three hours when you are ill or if your blood sugar is greater than 300. Check your urine for ketones if your blood sugar level is over 300. Drink lots of water. Perform a correction dose, but please note to only give a correction dose every two to three hours and not more frequently. If high blood sugars are occurring frequently, please fax or email your blood sugar log sheets for insulin dose adjustments. If the blood sugar is greater than 300, with moderate or large ketones. During the week, call the endocrinology clinic right away and ask to speak with a nurse specialist. In the evenings and on weekends, please call the answering service. If you are sick, follow the sick day plan as described in your binder and do not exercise if you have moderate or large ketones. Now, Nurse Maria McMullen will show us how to test for urine ketones. First, Maria will collect fresh urine in a dry and clean cup. She will dip the test area of the strip in the urine and remove the strip immediately. Next, she will tap the strip on the side to remove excess urine. Per the bottle directions, she will wait exactly 15 seconds to read the test results. Always test for urine ketones when blood sugar is greater than 300. Follow the color coding on the strip to determine your ketone level. If your ketones read negative to small, give the calculated correction dose and encourage drinking water. If the ketones read moderate to large, Call the office immediately with the current blood sugar and do not give a correction dose of insulin before speaking with a nurse or physician. Diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA is when a patient has high blood sugars over 300 with moderate or large ketones. DKA is a very serious complication of uncontrolled diabetes and if left untreated can result in coma or death. What causes diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA? Too much glucose and not enough insulin cause the body to use fat for energy. 
When fat is used for energy, some of the fat makes acids called ketones. Ketones may build up in the blood and spill into the urine. When the blood glucose is high, it can spill into the urine as well and take water with it. Loss of body water through frequent urination can lead to dehydration. As the ketones build up in the blood, they are usually eliminated through the kidneys. However, if there is dehydration, the body may not be able to remove the ketones. This buildup of ketones may cause ketoacidosis or DKA. Elevated blood sugar over 300 without ketones is not a medical emergency. Several symptoms can warn you that your child may be in DKA. You should check your child's blood sugar and urine ketones any time they have any of the following symptoms. Throw up or feel sick to their stomach. Have a fruity odor to their breath. Notice that the breathing is fast and deep or they have difficulty breathing. If your child's blood sugar is greater than 300 and they have moderate or large ketones in the urine, please call the endocrinology office right away. This should be done before you give correction doses of insulin. Please do not try to do this on your own. Your child will likely need extra doses of insulin to bring down the blood sugar and also possibly oral or IV fluids to correct the dehydration. If you're unable to talk with your doctor, please proceed to the nearest emergency room. Thank you, Dr. Kaladi, for that explanation of diabetic ketoacidosis. DKA can be prevented by keeping your blood sugars in as close to range as possible. Remember, an elevated blood sugar over 300 without ketones is not a medical emergency. If you are noticing patterns of high blood sugars, email your blood sugar log to our clinic. Keep in mind, the most common reason for DKA is missed long-acting insulin. If your long-acting insulin dose was missed, please call the clinic for guidance. Check blood sugar at least four times daily. Check urine for ketones if blood sugar is greater than 300 milligrams per deciliter, if you are sick, have an infection, or are vomiting. Always take your insulin as prescribed. If you are sick, never skip your insulin. You may need more or you may need less, but you need insulin every day. Keep in mind, your child should not exercise with moderate or large ketones. Exercising with ketones can increase the risk of DKA. Please contact our office if you have questions about sick day management or ketones. Diabetic ketoacidosis can be very frightening, but by following the recommendations in the Managing Childhood Diabetes Binder and regularly sending blood sugar logs, prolonged hyperglycemia can be avoided, which lowers the risk of DKA. Please continue on to the next video in the series.